all right, I think we all know who's going to be managing partners and something we're going to decide overnight. Therefore, for the sake of firm harmony, I suggest we start with conflicts of interest. Fine with me. Me too. Great. As you can see, I have taken the liberty of suggesting who drops which client. And I am confident you'll agree with all of my proposals, with the exception I'm uh, not dropping Dexter Raw. And I'm not dropping Clavitin. Exactly. Exactly what? What do you mean exactly what? I knew that neither of you would be willing to give up those particular clients, exactly that. You mean you don't have a suggestion? I have a suggestion. You drop yours, and the next time we have a major conflict, I'll drop mine. You sure about that? Because the next major conflict we're gonna have is who's managing partner? Then what exactly is your idea? I say whoever's client billed the most hours last year stays. Well, that's pretty damn convenient because your client went through a merger, so their billables are inflated. You're saying that the sun got in your eyes and that's why you dropped the big pass? Wait a second, Harvey's right. Come again. No, not about who to drop. Your client did just go through a merger. They're in a whole new line of business, most of which doesn't conflict with Clavin anymore. Where are you going with this? I'm saying if we can get either client to drop the one division where they still overlap, you can keep them both. Well, in that case, I'll get my client to drop. It's the least I can do. Oh, no. I'll do the honors. After all, you welcome me into your home. Why don't we make it a friendly wager? We each get our client to drop. First one who gets there wins. Sure thing. Twice in one day, to what do all the pleasure now? I'm here to tell you, you want your name on the door, you gotta earn it. I thought I already had. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I got something for you to do anyway. And what exactly is that? I need you to get Robert Zane's biggest client to sell their manufacturing division. Harvey, you pull me up the hill, I'm gonna kill whoever's at the top. But? But in this case, the guy at the top is on our side. Is he? What are you talking about? I'm telling you, this is gonna determine who runs the firm. Zane knows it and I know it. So, if you want me to be able to live up to that promise, I need you to do this. And I don't like being threatened if you to uphold a promise you already made. I don't either. But like it or not, this benefits both of us. And I guarantee you right now, Zane's going to his right hand, man, to ask the same thing. And who is his right hand? Your job isn't to ask who he is. Your job is to kick his ass. Harvey, we need to talk. Don't tell me there's a problem. There is. What is it now? It's not that big of a deal, but you're gonna have to figure out what font to use to put my name on the letterhead. Because as of 2 p.m. today, Robert Zane's client is officially dropping the manufacturing division. You telling me you did it? Signed, sealed, and delivered, my man. Now let's get down to figuring out. What? How to counter my last move? Because you may have them signed and sealed, but I'm here to tell you your delivery got lost on the way. Who the hell are you? Her name is Sam Wheeler. Truth be told, Alex, I prefer Samantha. You two know each other? No, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out she's Zane's guy. He didn't figure it out. What I figured out is, whoever you are, if you think you can waltz into my office... Harvey, I got it. Do you? Because unless I'm misreading the situation, she's saying you don't. Harvey? You know what? You two are obviously having some trouble. The good news is you'll have plenty of time to work it out because as of end of business today, your client is dropping their manufacturing division and we can get back to the business of running this firm under the direction of Robert Zane. You two have a nice, ugh, you know I don't mean it. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, this is my fight. You asked me to fight it, and I'm not gonna let you step into the middle of round two. It may be the middle of round two, but you just told me you got a first round knockout. Well, I was wrong, but I'm still in the ring, my partnership's on the line, and I'm not getting out. Then you better win. Where are you going? to pick a fight in my own weight class. Robert, how are you? Settling in all right? Doing just fine, thanks for asking. What can I do for you? I just dropped by to tell you I had an interesting conversation with your girl, Sam. <laughs> She's kicking your ass, isn't she? Not mine, since neither of you had the balls to invite me into the ring. Just like you didn't invite me. And don't give me any of this nonsense about we had a deal because you broke it just as fast as I did. I did, but my issue isn't that she's fighting your battles for you. It's that she walked into my office like I wasn't the managing partner of this firm. And I didn't like the way she introduced herself to me either. But that's not what your issue is. You're pissed because I didn't get in the ring myself. Because if I'm not in there, you're not in there and you can't stand not being in there. Are you saying I always have to shoot because I'm fine passing the ball? I'm talking about being a coach and if you were one, you wouldn't mind just sitting back and watching Samantha Wheeler eat your boy for breakfast. And if you think that's gonna happen, you don't know Alex Williams. Oh, I know that's what's gonna happen. 
And the person you don't know is Harvey Specter. I know myself just fine. Then tell me you'll stay the hell out of this. No problem. I just gave Alex my word I'd stay out. And what kind of managing partner would I be if I couldn't live up to my word? Because just so we're clear, Robert, I am managing partner. Whatever you say, Harvey. But remember, you didn't only give your word to Alex Williams anymore. You just gave your word to me. Harvey, you need to take a look at this. What is it? It just came in. It's a proposed contract of sale for Claviton's Manufacturing division. Son of a bitch. I need to find out where Judge Thomas is, and I need to find out now. Harvey, you can't do this without Alex. It's his case. Then why the hell are you the one telling me this and not him? Because he's probably out there fighting because he thinks he can still win. Well, he's got one thing, right? We can still win. But he can't. And if you cut him out, you won't win either. You think I can't take Samantha Wheeler? I think you said you'd stay out of it. And if you take over now without even telling Alex, then you can find out where Judge Thomas is yourself. Because I'm not gonna help you tell your own team that you'll cut them out just to get the better of Samantha Wheeler. Look, you wanna tell Alex what I'm doing? Go ahead. I am not about to sit on the sidelines and watch us lose. Harvey. I'm only gonna ask you this once. Is there a chance that you're overreacting to Mike having just left? I don't know, Donna, but to tell you the truth, I don't care. Okay. You win. Find out where Judge Thomas is. Harvey. Alex, before you say anything... No, you gave me your word that you were gonna stay out of this. The next thing I know, you're having a meeting about my client without me. First of all, it's my client. And it's my case. Which you were about to lose. It was a setback. Bullsh you were getting your ass kicked, and don't tell me you weren't. God damn it, Harvey. Listen to me, Alex. This woman is no joke. You saying I am? I'm saying I just met with Judge Thomas, so I know exactly what it's gonna take to beat her. So the hell what? I can play dirty just as well as you. Maybe you can, but I gave you a promise to put your name on the wall. And if you play dirty to beat Robert Zane's right hand, it isn't gonna happen. You know what I think? That sounds like some bullshit by a guy who's just gonna do what he wants like he always does. What I want, Alex, is to stay managing partner. This is the way that's gonna happen. Harvey, I'm- That's enough. I'm taking it from here. It's done. What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything. Well, except for the thing that I did. You mean going to Judge Thomas and having him allow fabricated testimony to overrule my motion? It wasn't fabricated, but it sure as hell was allowed. And how exactly did you get him to do that? You know how I did it. Or you don't. And if you don't, well, I'm not about to open up my playbook and show you. Oh, Mr. Slick, I don't give a shit how you did it. I'm going to undo it because this isn't over. Yes, it is. We'll see about that. No, we won't. Because I'm giving you a direct order. You are not to take any action to affect the outcome of this situation. And you can give me all the orders you want. The only person I answer to is Robert Zane. So if you want to stop what I'm about to do, you better talk to him before I goddamn do it. Don't you walk away from me. Kiss my ass. All right, Robert, I have been patient, but it's over and I've won. Call off the dogs. What the hell did you just say to me? I said call off the dogs. I'm not gonna have someone inside my own firm who doesn't know when she's lost. The only one in here who doesn't know that they've lost is you. I didn't lose shit. And if you think I might, why don't you pick up the phone and call Judge Thomas right now? I'm not talking about Judge Thomas. But what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you stood right here and gave your word that you would stay out of this thing. And not only did you break it, now you're in here trying to drag me into it. Nothing to say? That's right. You may have won the battle, but you lost the goddamn war. Because you just showed this entire firm only one of us is managing partner material, and it isn't you. This is my firm, and I'm not gonna let you take it. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, Harvey. I already have. Now, why don't you let that rattle around for a little while, and then come back when you're ready to tell me that I'm right.